Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault, and we're going to do something a little different than we did in the last couple days. This is going to be a probably a two-part video, maybe a three-part video altogether. They're going to be shorter ones. Um, we're working on doing a live stream a little bit later on tonight or earlier tonight by the time this airs. So I don't have a ton of time today to get this done. But we're back on our Nomad character, as you can see. You know, he's been uh, retired for a little bit, but he's still around. Hey, bud. So what we're going to do is we're here at the center of the galaxy in the Euclid galaxy. And I'm going to build a way station here. This is going to be the first base that he's built, the first real base that he's built. He's put down a couple of uh, little uh, computers there, you know, base computers, but hasn't built any bases. And what I want to do is I'm going to take him from galaxy to galaxy and build little waypoints so that anybody who wants to travel to the center of the galaxy very easily can go to the very last system before the center. So anyway, I've babbled on long enough. Let's keep up the music and let's get to building. First off, this is a pretty desolate planet. This is uh, not a lot going on here. It's dead. You know, there's not any life or any... Well, there's life, but again, it's just very, very boring. I've gone into creative mode for this because I honestly... This, this character wasn't, you know, building up tons and tons of stuff. So we're going to get started. We're going to build some really interesting things here for him, which will be kind of fun. Make a, a neat little setup here. So the first thing we're going to start with is a foundation. Um, that's going to be the second thing we start with. The first thing we build is going to be a basic cylindrical room. I guess we could put the frame underneath it. Yeah. So that's the keystone to this whole project, right? Let's make sure that we have things set up in a pleasant looking manner here so yeah that door will go there that means we'll have one right out here right perfect that's exactly what I was hoping for because next up we're gonna throw down the first well, we're gonna do a few of these actually we want this to operate kind of like a like a spaceport or something like that for that kind of a look you know So we're going to put a few of these down. Uh, come on, connect, connect. Oh my god, it's being so yank janky. Janky. Uh, where's the thing? There it is. They're all facing the same way, because... It really aggravates me when they don't. Uh, yep, I believe they are. Yep, cool. Alright, so now when people come to visit, you got a nice place to land. And I want this to be kind of like a one-stop, before-you-go kind of place that'll uh, let you pretty much do whatever you need when you're here. Get the things that you need and all that fun stuff, so remember this thing from a couple episodes back so all right well we don't need power for this because I've got the power turned off on this character there's no need for that and now that we have this set up I'm gonna do this and whoops delete that and that so I wanted it to be kind of floaty All right, so here we go. We'll go ahead and put on... Actually, we're going to use the square rooms, I think. It'll be a little bit better for this. There we go. I don't think I can do... Oh, it's going to let me do that? Oh, that's kind of nice. 
Yeah, I like that as a different look, right? I love the fact that you can use the underwater stuff above above the water surface now, which is really, really cool. Alright, so this is going to be where everybody comes into right away when they first get here. So let's go ahead and pop in the teleporter. That way when you arrive, you got this nice little landing area to come out to. Just don't fall off because it's a hell of a flight to get back up. Alright, we got that. And we got visitors coming. I heard a look at that. Somebody coming to say hey, what's up? Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and use the underwater glass tunnels. I want as much glass as possible up here just because it's kinda it's gonna be kind of a cool look, you know, to have everything suspended. There we go. And now we'll do another wonderful square room out here. Actually, no. You're going away. What we're going to do is use the... Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Here they are. The glass cuboid rooms. We're just going to kind of lay out some basic infrastructure here. And we're going to put everything you might need as a traveler in this place. That way, before you head to a new galaxy, you kind of stock up on things and uh, be ready for anything. So, all right, yeah, we got this nice big room here. This is cool. Those side things are going to have to come off, actually. We're going to have to do something different there. All right. I do want... to put in... all the necessities, right? A health station, a hazard protection unit. Uh, we do want a... Galactic Trade Terminal. Unfortunately, that is going to mess things up a little bit. I don't think I can put that in the corners, can I? Well, I can put it here, actually. So we'll put that up front here. We'll put the Construction Terminal there just for the look of it. When you arrive. All right, we got that there. Perfect. I want an antimatter reactor because you may need to fill up your warp fuel when you're here. Because you have to have full warp uh, drive to move on. And all you need to do is fill it up with carbon and it'll start making the uh, antimatter for you. So that's really a nice little thing. Those things are going. Hold on. Um, I do want this, however. Must attach to structure. Ugh. We're going to be building underneath here, too. We're going to kind of do like a little industrial area that's going to kind of be hidden away. Uh, but we'll look at that in the next episode. Maybe we'll finish up the basics here. So I got that. What else do we want up here? Yeah, all the basics. We want an appearance modifier. Do you want to change our look before you go? The 
refiners and all that we're going to put elsewhere, like I said. We'll, we'll take a look at that in a bit. You know what? I do want to harvest some oxygen. That way if people... throw carbon in here and harvest yourself a little bit of oxygen if you want. Let's go ahead and put a couple of those down. Normally they can only be placed on a planet surface. But, with a little trick... You can put them right there. Let's do it again. Get two of them. There we go. And that's a uh, that's a little trick where you switch to... So if you want to build something, this is a, one of the most basic glitches. They call it the wire glitch, right? So we take an item, and if you want to put it somewhere where it normally doesn't go, on the PlayStation, you'll hit triangle to switch to the wire, and then you'll hit triangle and R2 at the same time to place it down. So I'll show you with the oxygen harvester since it's not supposed to work like that. See, limited to one in the local area, right? This supersedes the uh, the number limit on... Nope, didn't work that time. Doesn't always work, but it will. Damn it. Um, it supersedes the, the number of things allowed in an area, like refiners and oxygen harvesters. It'll work for both. So let's do it again. There we go. rid of that, right? So, let's get that little thing there. There we go. Got four oxygen harvesters right up front. So if you need to get some oxygen, or get a, you know, before you go, you got it. Fun, fun times, right? These guys keep bringing these crappy ships here. And we're going to want some windows. All right, there we go. So these look really nice on the circular rooms, but they also work well here. I want this to be as visually appealing as possible. See, it's not going to go here because there's stuff in the way. We've got... Um, that unit and that unit in the way, so... But that's fine, that's why I put them in there, because... Give it a decent little look there, right? Yeah. So these glass cuboids are cool. You could do a lot with them. Um, they can stack up and down, as well as what we did here. I'll show you... Let's do it right, right there. Let me see, you fell right into it. But it just creates a huge room. It works that way with the plain metal ones too. So you can really expand things out and do some cool stuff with these. Let's get a little confusing sometimes looking at them because, you know, just the way the visuals are in the game. Like, oh, what? And let's go ahead and put these out. I think one notch. Now we got a nice big bay window here. What can we put there that'll look cool? I 
That definitely warrants having something pretty neat looking there, right? Nice big ass statue. Might work. Let's go with the gold diplo. We'll increase its size, make it as big as possible. Get it lined up to the best of our ability here. <laughs> it's kind of nice looking, right? I like it with the light shining off of it. Yeah, that came out pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. So. If you want to, and you want to put like some floors down and all that, we got that big room. But I, I'll just show you this for future. I'm not going to do it here. Uh, we're in here, cuboid room, flooring. See, we can add floors to give uh, like a walkway around if we wanted or something like that. We could do it, you know. If we want to fill this in a little bit, but keep the size of the room down there, you could do that. I mean, we could literally just leave one open for his head to stick out of, which would be kind of funny looking, but I don't think it would serve the aesthetic of the room very nicely. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. Now, we definitely want to light him up a little bit because it's not going to be sunlight forever here. So I'll say... Give him a nice little bit of lighting around here. Uh, put it right. Nope, I like that, like that. Like that. Like that. That should light him up even. It'll hold that like sunlight look even in uh, the dark of night, hopefully. We'll have to take a look when it gets dark, which it should be getting dark here pretty soon. Yeah, it's kind of pretty there, huh? That needs to be a photo. Probably a thumbnail, too. <laughs> I do like the photo mode in this game. It's not too shabby. All right, so we got that little bit done there. Got it nice and decorative. We are a little bit lower now. We could work on the industrial room I wanted to do. We can't see how far we've gone there. It looks like we're pretty much underneath that, right? So what we can do with this is we'll work with cuboid rooms instead of the glass ones since this is not being done for looks, right? by four kind of hidden here. That's awesome. Oh yeah, it's getting to be nighttime. Let's take a look. Yeah, not 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 quite the effect I was hoping for. Not as spectacular, but not horrible. Let's see if we got a different light we can use that might make it just a little more purdy. are a little brighter, but I don't think you can change the color. Ooh, you can. Can you change the color of the actual light, though? That's what I want to know. 
Let's take a look and see what this light looks like. I'll throw it in down here just for the fun of it. And it's still white, right? Yeah, okay. Nothing special there. I'm thinking though. I'm thinking this needs a little bit of a wall around it, right? Got a nice red gray wall. So just enough to Oh, is it not going to click? Oh, man, it doesn't lock in with that, huh? Well, that's a shame. Well, we, we can try to line it up best of our ability here. It's not really that great, though, but... Try the short one. Same color, okay. Man, it's just a little bit shy, right? Uh, I wonder if. Let's try this. to be. I'm gonna pick it up, move it back a little bit. So let's pick it up. I grabbed the wrong thing, didn't I? Ah, oh, I picked up the statue, damn it. Okay. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna pick this up too. For now, and we'll do this. Get it back to the right color. And the problem is. Getting an angle just right. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think I did pretty damn good for not knowing what I'm doing. All right. Sorry about that, Mr. Uh, Diplo. Let's get you back in place. In all your majestic glory. Now we got a cool little wall around there. I know, it's making this area inaccessible, but that's okay. The point, this is temporary right here, this hallway. We got we got plans, man. We got some definite plans here. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of decoration around him to make it kind of cool looking. I want some big trees. larger too which is cool I gotta get out of there all right it was a little wonky working with this oh yeah that's nice that goes all the way up uh, this one here Perfect. Do some smaller ones. I'm going to stick with 
kind of normal looking trees. For the most part. It's almost a shame to put that wall around there now. All that grass that we got recently for Quicksilver. We'll put some of that to good use here. This whole thing like a cool little atrium. We'll switch it up a little bit. Let's put in some short spike grass. Ah! Tall spike grass. This is clover. You just get a little bit of ground cover in here, you know what I mean? Antler grass. Oof. There we go. How's it looking? Pretty, pretty decent. All right, we got another. Some flowers over here. Some of these little flowers up here. Uh, not up there. What else we got? This little batch we'll put right here. Maybe a carton, maybe a dwarf palm or two. house look at yeah I gotta this wall doesn't do it any justice now so that's looking kind of cool now we need a little more lighting to really bring it all together and what we'll go with is some green lighting And now we got a kind of a kind of a neat looking area there. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. It's, it's not horrible. <laughs> it's definitely not horrible. I could probably put some... Ooh, the green light's all over the place. I don't like the green lighting. It's got to... Yeah, do something different with that. I'll have to move that around a little bit. I'm not liking the way it's set up there. But, yeah, not too shabby so far. Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. I'm going to do some more work on it in between now and the next one. And we'll take a look at what I've done and get it finished off. Uh, 
you know, maybe in the next episode or the one after that. So thanks for joining me, everyone, as always. I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault. If you enjoyed this at all, please leave a like on it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.